We stand here in solidarity with groups from Texas to Florida in impacted regions by Hurricane Harvey and Hurricane Irma. We stand here not as victims, we stand here as survivors. Today we came here to make sure that our voices are heard. We came here on behalf of the community that was affected by Harvey, Hurricane Harvey. Um, we made sure that people heard our voices and that we, we raised the issue of climate change. Everywhere we go, everywhere we go, people want to know, people want to know. marginalized communities are not brought to the forefront. We see that policies are not being made to support our communities around climate justice. We need 100% renewable energy. That's the only way our world will survive. Everybody, regardless of immigration status, background, race, economic status, or the zip code deserves the same treatment before and after a storm. I have 150,000 petitions that uplift our message that climate change is real and 100% renewable energy is a must. I, a Florida resident, stand in solidarity with my Texas sisters and brothers and the sisters from the Caribbean. We are not victims. We are resilient and we deserve better. Can't go into a hurricane with a lack of preparation. In instances from our community, Lack of preparation isn't that they didn't want to prepare, it's that they couldn't afford to prepare. People rise up, then the powers come down. When the people rise up. The actions that I want elected officials to take is to take a stand, to no longer sit by as climate deniers continue to occupy the offices at Capitol Hill.